Well, welcome to the opening of our indoor practice facility. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, it was just seven months ago that we stood in what now is the end zone of this facility and had a groundbreaking event. It's hard to believe if you look at this facility of what has happened here in seven months. So um, I want to acknowledge the hard work by our facilities people and uh, John Donegan particularly in, uh, in bringing us to this point. I'm Walter Kraft, Vice President for Communications. I want to welcome the Regents, President Martin, and our Executive Council, many of who are here today. Um, as I said, it was hard to believe it was seven months ago that we were uh, putting shovels in the ground and what has happened since then. Next to the Science Complex and Prey Herald, this is the other construction project that is changing the face of Eastern Michigan University. And I remember the first time I drove past the bubble in the middle of winter when it was inflated, I just said, wow, I, it's, wow. The first time I entered the, the facility, once it was inflated, I said, wow, again. And today, we're here for our third wow, as all of you get to share that experience. So uh, enjoy. Today, today's agenda, you'll get to meet and hear from some of the key people involved in this project and learn more about what this facility means to Eastern and learn about some of the exciting other things that are happening here on campus. And then we'll take you inside for a tour. After our event wraps up, we are opening this facility to an open house for campus and the community. It will be open all day till 7 p.m. We have hot dogs, food, beverages, free to the public. Uh, we want to show this place off. It's a great community asset, and we're proud of it. And now I'd like to introduce the chair of our Board of Regents, Roy Wilbanks. Roy was appointed in 2004. Prior to that, he had several leadership positions here at Eastern Michigan, and this man knows athletics. He was a coach at Ypsilanti High School, and I want to point out that the regents have really led the way on this project, and I'd like to welcome Roy Wilbanks here to the podium. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Walter, and I do have a, a pleasure of being chair of the Board of Regents at Eastern Michigan University, and it has been a joy. Uh, I'd also like to uh, introduce a couple of my fellow regents that are here that I see our longest-serving regent, and I don't know if that's good or not, but Regent Incarnati uh, has spent, I think, almost 20 years now giving to the university. Uh, Regent Stapleton, when you talk about uh, steadfast support for athletics, uh, certainly has made a difference at Eastern Michigan University and currently chairs our uh, finance committee, Regent Jim Stapleton. And uh, my friend and fellow Ypsilantian for over 60 years, a uh, great supporter of Eastern Michigan University, also worked at the university for many years in many different capacities, uh, similar to the ones that I shared with him. Uh, once again, a steadfast supporter of intercollegiate athletics and the community, Regent Gary Hawks. And I believe those are the only ones here. Am I missing anyone? Uh, once again, thank you folks for, uh, thank the regents for attending, and it's through their steadfast support that we are here today. Uh, I want to welcome everybody and, and share with you the culmination of work that has uh, happened at Eastern Michigan University. Uh, Walter Kraft uh, phrased it very well. This is the second big opening that we've had this year, along with our public safety department on campus. Uh, we will be, uh, hopefully, John Donegan tells me that we will be uh, cutting the ribbon for the uh, Mark Jefferson Science Project uh, before the end of this year. He's shaking his head yes, so this guy keeps his word, so we're excited about that. Uh, when we first started talking about this project uh, some time ago, uh, through Derek Gregg's leadership in athletics and uh, President Martin, we had opportunities to visit some other places, and at one time we talked about uh, downscaling it a little bit uh, because of the financial situation, but we indicated that the new Eastern Michigan University is going to do things right. And as you see this today, I think you'll see that we did this right. Uh, we're, I'm particularly happy because it's going to have community access. Uh, Vice President Lum told me this morning that our 
time was pretty much booked up by the community. We'll have the Ypsilanti Soccer Club in here, the Belleville Soccer Club, uh, Ann Arbor Soccer Club. So uh, unlike our neighbors down the street, we certainly try to, as best we can, always make things available to the community. We are community-oriented. Uh, with that, once again, uh, I want to be brief and then be seated, so I will sit down and just say once again, welcome, and as you see the inside of this place, I think you will agree with me that we did it right. Thank you, Regent Wilbanks. Now I'd like to introduce President Susan Martin. President Martin is entering her second year here at Eastern, has a brought, brought a great sense of leadership, stability, and focus to the institution. Under her leadership, Eastern has continued to focus on academic quality while leading the way in accessibility and affordability. Last year, our tuition increase was the lowest in the state. This year, anyone heard about zero, zero, zero? Please join me in welcoming President Susan Martin. Well, I do want to thank the Board of Regents again for their support, not only of this project, but for an ambitious capital plan where we borrowed $100 million and are investing $195 million in the campus over four years. And you're going to see not only groundbreakings, but a continued series of ribbon cuttings as a result of that as these projects are completed. And again, I can't thank uh, John Lum for sweating over the finances with me almost every morning we meet, and uh, John Donegan for tremendous work in managing more construction than this campus has ever seen. Uh, we uh, also want to acknowledge Jack Kay, our provost, Bernice Linke, Vice President Linke, who's getting that enrollment to keep the budget uh, going. And uh, Chief Odell, who keeps the campus safe, and Gloria Haig are here today along with our athletic director. Um, I'd also like to thank Mark Monahan and his team who have taken over the community rental of this facility and done a terrific job. It's almost fully booked with uh, clubs from our neighboring community. We'll have about 4,000 individuals in this facility during the peak months of October through March. And as you can see, it's designed for that with a safe drop-off area and parking lot across the street. So we're very excited that that will be bringing our greater community to campus to see the kind of great things Eastern can do. We launched as a, a capital campaign, Invest Inspire. As you may know, this facility doesn't have a name on it. If anyone out there is uh, longing to have your name on a facility, come talk to me after this. Um, we have uh, a lot of exciting things happening. June 5th, we dedicated up north near Traverse City our Parsons Center for Study of Art and Science and cut the ribbon there. Despite the fact that we adopted 000, we are investing $195 million in this campus. We are hiring over 40 new faculty for the fall and creating the kind of exciting, affordable, accessible academic environment. And this, our student athletes have exceeded themselves in their GPA, so they bring a great deal to the class, and we're very proud of them. So we want to thank everyone here um, for participation in this project and appreciate your complete support that enabled us to get done in record time. And as everyone knows, I'm a huge fan of uh, athletics, and I'm very excited that they'll kind of have the facility that we need as a proud member of the MAC and Division I uh, athletic program. Thank you. Thank you, President Martin. I think I said uh, I misspoke. I said entering your second year, completing your second year. Sorry about that. <laughs> we're, we're almost there. Um, now I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Derek Gregg, uh, head of our athletic department. Derek has been leading a first-class athletic program here with 21 sports. We lead the MAC conference. More important to Derek, though, than, uh, than uh, yards per carry, field goal percentage, and batting average, like you might think, is GPA. Uh, he never uh, stops talking about GPA and our student-athlete student success. So, Derek, please come to the podium and uh, make a few comments. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the Department of Athletics, I would like to welcome and thank everyone for being here. And I'm in my fifth year as the athletic director here, and it's been a great ride. And anyone who knows me knows that when I take the podium, I don't take any credit for any of this. We have outstanding student athletes and coaches here. Over the past four years, we've won 17 MAC championships. 
We've had 19 MAC head coaches of the year. We won the Reese Cup two years ago. We finished second last year, and we finished third this year for that is four consecutive top three finishes in the Mid-American Conference, so please give them a hand for that. And Walter mentioned GPA, and, and we're also fulfilling our mission of educating our student athletes. For the past few years, our overall GPA has been in the top two or three of the Mid-American Conference. This semester, this past semester, we have a CUME GPA, 550-plus student athletes of 3.066, which is a school high. And I want to thank Aaron Burtis and Ann Pearson, who I think are here in the back. Please raise your hands. That is outstanding work from my academic staff. And now with this facility, another crown jewel to go along with the Convocation Center. And again, seven months ago, it's amazing, one of the regents walked up to me and just said, can you believe what's going on here? And, and I'm just so proud and pleased of what's going on. And of course, I would like to thank President Martin and the regents who are all here for always embracing the vision that we've established here. I also want to thank our senior staff, who I call the hardest working senior staff in the business, uh, Doug Dowdy. Uh, Mike Malik and Craig Fink put a lot of work into this. I see Melody and Stephanie are here as well. Please give them a hand. And, of course, Jim Streeter, who's, who's been here longer than all of us, and he's seen some great things happen here. Um, I want to give Jim a hand as well. There he is. I also want to thank the physical plant reps, and, and Walter mentioned this, John Donegan, Scott Storr, Dave Jaworski. And I also want to mention uh, Mark Manahan again. He's been a great partner to work with. And, of course, all of our student athletes again. And as I say, and I see a lot of our coaches here, great programs like this stand on the shoulders of great coaches. And so with that, I want to introduce somebody who's even more excited about this than I am, and that's Mr. Ron English, the head football coach. Well, uh, Chairman Wilbank alluded to it, and he talked about the new Eastern Michigan's commitment to do things uh, the right way. And that word commitment, you know, comes from the uh, Latin word committere and commas to bring together. And materi is as if on a mission. And so uh, we really are on a mission here. And we're on a mission to bring championship football to Eastern Michigan University and to do it the right way to bring great students here as well. But I do want to thank our President, Dr. Martin, and our Board of Regents for all their help, and I would ask that you give them a hand. This is a uh, fantastic facility. When you go inside, you'll see that we did it right. Uh, Chairman Wilbank alluded to the fact that we uh, traveled across the country and looked at many facilities, and obviously when you look at the width of ours and the length of it and the height of it, uh, you can't do much better. And I've been in many, and there's nothing that trumps this. It's an outstanding facility, and it means so much to our football players. And with that, I would like to bring up one of our football players, and he can tell you after training uh, on a track surface for uh, many of his years here how uh, this place will make a difference in our football program. So with that, I'd like to bring up Bridger Bokey. Hello. Uh, first, I want to start off by first saying on behalf of the Eastern Michigan football team, uh, thank you to President Martin, uh, the Board of Regents, and uh, Dr. Gregg for the amount of time and effort they put into getting us this uh, indoor facility in such a short amount of time. Um, there are many advantages for having an indoor facility like this. Uh, the most important is for training. Um, not only will this allow us to train year-round, but it will also have us training on a much better surface. Um, the surface in Bowen, as all the football players can say, isn't very fun uh, to train on, especially for 300-pound offensive linemen. Um, not only will it improve our quality of training, but it will also help us in recruiting against other MAC schools and help build us a championship caliber team. Uh, but not only for the football team, but also for EMU athletics as a whole. And it will help the university grow and become a force to be reckoned with in the MAC. And we as players will show the same amount of effort and commitment that they have shown in bringing us this outstanding facility. And on that, I'd like to say once again, on behalf of EMU football, I'd like to thank President Martin, Board of Regents, and Dr. Gregg. Go Eagles.
Thank you. Now, with guys like Bridger on the line, I think uh, we know we're going to be successful this year, right? Thank you, Bridger. <clears throat> uh, earlier, President Martin mentioned the importance of the facility to the community and the community interest in, in renting this facility for youth soccer and other sports. Uh, to cover our operating costs, we're well on the way to succeeding in that important area. And to talk a little bit more about the community impact, I'd like to invite Diane Keller of the Ann Arbor Ipsy Chamber of Commerce here to uh, say a few words. She was here at the groundbreaking as well, and we're glad that you're back. Thank you. And an alum. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. We're very excited. You know, the definition uh, we teach our leadership class at the Ann Arbor Ypsilanti Regional Chamber is that a manager does um, the, the right thing, but good leaders do Managers do the right thing. Good leaders do things right. And we, we really appreciate the fact that you're here doing the right thing for our community, doing things right, hosting all of us here. Um, I know that I've talked to a number of uh, soccer league coaches, and it's kind of funny because they're like, oh, my God, this is a fantastic facility. We have nothing like it in our community. They have to travel far and wide, and it's an opportunity to bring children here, to expose them to education, which is really our workforce of tomorrow. So we're really, really looking forward to working together. We appreciate the, the little things that you do that become really big things in our community, such as um, hosting Dundee the other day at the Convocation Center. Thank you so much. That was, that was greatly appreciated in our community. Um, we do love the fact that the community and the, the, the university are putting together this capital campaign that is working so intrinsically um, back and forth with not just the businesses, but the families that are here that are a part and have been a longstanding part of the Ypsilanti, the greater Ypsilanti area. And my special thanks to uh, President Martin and Derek and, and all the staff. And Coach, I'll be there for Football 101. I look forward to seeing you there. And uh, we hope that the university will continue to improve upon it and share the resources into the greater area because it's a win-win for all of us. And we really appreciate that today. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Our final guest before we get on with the ribbon cutting is somebody who came in from Missouri for this, and it, his name is Scott Biazon. He is with a company called Arizon, the company that designed this facility. And Scott wanted to make a few uh, few comments and uh, I guess a few thank yous. So please, Scott, come on out. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've had the opportunity to been to many universities around the country, and I can tell you that I've heard more than once today on how this university and community does things right. This university is amazing. I've had a chance to go up in the press box today and look down at this facility. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys really did a great job. On behalf of Horizon, back in St. Louis, Missouri, we'd like to uh, thank the university, uh, Dr. Martin, uh, the Board of Regions, and a special thanks to Turner Construction, who was a large part of this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this project. So. Um, it's great to see the athletes here excited about this uh, training facility, and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. Well, that wraps up our formal comments. Next, uh, we'll uh, move on to the ribbon cutting and then open the place up so everybody can get inside and take a look around. A reminder that the uh, practice facility will be open until 7 p.m. today, community open house, campus open house. Uh, free hot dogs and all kinds of goodies. Uh, thank you all for coming. Now, if all the presenters could gather around behind the ribbon, we will get on with a ribbon cutting. Oh.